हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर एस एस पाटिल प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचे इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट ए न्यूमेरिकल एग्जांपल ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ सर्कुलर कॉलम विथ हेलिकल री एनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन students will be able to analyze and design circular column with a helical reinforcement design example design a circular column of diameter 400 mm with helical reinforcement subjected to a working load of 1200 kN use m25 concrete and fe415 steel The column has unsupported length of three meter and is effectively held in position at both ends, but not restrained against rotation. Note: Sometimes dimensions are fixed from architectural consideration. Therefore, in this numerical example, dimension is already given. Now, the designer has to see that the column can be designed with a steel. Between 0.8 to 4 percent. Minimum is 0.8, maximum is 4 percent because we are using lap of reinforcement. Let us go for the solution. Unsupported length 3 meter. Ends are effectively held at both ends, and rotation is not restrained. Therefore, it is hinged at both ends. Therefore. the effective length is equal to the unsupported length that is 3 meter itself the l by d we have calculated that is unsupported length divided by the diameter it is 7.5 which is less than 12 so l by d and l by b both should be less than 12 then and then only we can call it as a short column so it may be designed as a short column now we have to find out what is the minimum eccentricity it is l by 500 plus d by 30 so it is 19.33 whereas is less than 20 mm therefore minimum eccentricity is 20 mm so e minimum divided by d that works out to be 0.05 hence it can be treated as axially loaded column main reinforcement to find out the main reinforcement since it it can be treated as axial loaded column and e minimum is also is satisfying its condition therefore the load carrying capacity is determined by using an equation given in is 456 so pu is ultimate load So 1.05, that means 5 percent increment, we are supposed to make when we are using a helical reinforcement. So therefore, it is 1.05. So 0.4 FCK AC plus 0.67 FY ASC. So AC is area of concrete, ASC is area of longitudinal steel, FCK FY characteristic strength of concrete and steel. So P axial load is 1200. PU will be 1.5 times this. modification factor that is 1800 kN so which is to be converted into newton then p be the percentage of reinforcement required or to be used so ac is equal to ag into 1 minus that is gross area into 1 minus p by 100 and asc is p by 100 times ag so now if we substitute pu value and other values on the right right hand side pu on the left hand side so since it is to be increased by 1.05 that we have brought it on the denominator on this side and if you complete the solution the the value of p was sort to be 1.3586% so p is the percentage of reinforcement required So the P is between 0.8 point and point, point 0.4, uh, 0.8 and 4 percent. So hence it is satisfactory. So ASC, that is area of uh, steel in compression, we are supposed to determine. 
so area of steel in compression it is p by 100 that is percentage steel divided by 100 into a gross area so the percentage steel is 1.3586 so gross area is pi by 4 into d square divided by 100 that will give you 170.1707.3 mm square as area of uh, longitudinal steel provide 6 bars of 20 mm diameter so asc provided is 1885 mm square now let us see the provisions for helical reinforcement let us use 8 mm diameter spirals at a pitch s where s is the pitch that is the distance between the two consecutive uh, windings at a one on a one one longitudinal bar with a clear cover of 50 mm so the core core diameter it will be 400 minus 5 uh, 2 times 50 that is clear cover is deducted so 300 mm will be the core diameter so therefore area of core area of core was sort to be that is the total area multiplied by minus this 1885 so that will give us 68,800 mm square. Volume of core, it is area of core multiplied by this particular uh, pitch, S is the pitch. So the length of one spiral of 8 mm diameter, it is pi into, that is pi into D. So D is 300 minus 8 mm because we have come up to the center of the uh, spiral reinforcement. Therefore, it was said to be 292 pi. Now volume of one spiral. So volume of one spiral, it is area of spiral pi by 4 into 8 square into 290. That is the perimeter, that is the length of the spiral bar. So that will give us the volume of spiral so according to the clause is456 when we are increasing 5 percent the strength we are supposed to take that volume of uh, uh, helical reinforcement divided by volume of core it should be less than or equal to 0.36 ag upon ac gross area upon uh, this area of concrete minus 1 into fck upon fy AG was thought to be pi by 4 into d square, that is 400 square. So that is 1255.6637 mm square. So if we substitute all the values, we get this pitch S is greater than or equal to 37.4 mm. So maximum speech specified is 70 fm uh, 75 mm or core diameter divided by 6. So core and diameter divided by 6 was thought to be 50 mm. So therefore maximum allowed is 50 mm. So minimum pitch which is uh, prescribed by IS456, it is 25 mm or 3 times the diameter of the helical reinforcement. So this 3 times the diameter of helical reinforcement 24, therefore it is 25. So our value of pitch should be between 25 and 50. So therefore, let us provide 8 mm spirals at a 40 mm pitch. And it is shown in the figure. Now please see this is the helical reinforcement that means which is continuous. So lateral ties are, are circular rings we provide they call it as lateral tie. And if you take a continuous uh, uh, lateral tie, in that particular case, it is called as helical reinforcement. And here we find the 8 mm diameter helical reinforcement and 40 mm center to center. So this is 400 mm diameter and 6 bars of 20 mm diameter are used for longitudinal reinforcement. Review question. For circular column, minimum number of longitudinal bars is 6. True or false? Please guess it. 
शॉर्ट कॉलम कैन बी डिजाइन इफ एल बाई डी और एल बाई बी रेशो इज लेस देन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व और फोर्टीन प्लीज गेस द आंसर द आंसर सर फॉर सर्क्यूलर कॉलम मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ लॉन्जिट्यूडल बार सिक्स इट इज करेक्ट इट इज ट्रू एंड द शॉर्ट कॉलम कैन बी डिजाइन इफ एल बाय बी और एल बाय डी रेशो इज लेस देन ट्वेल्व when it is less than 12 so these are the references used for the presentation thank you thank you one and all